I don't want to have to clean that doohickey, so I don't dirty it. I haven't used it. Hey guys, it's Sarah from Snacks and Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an espresso battle challenge. I don't know. I've got two different brands of espresso already brewed up right here. I'm comparing Cafe Cafe Bustello and Lavazza. I've finished my Cafe Bustello and then I bought the Lavazza as like a second because I want to try it out. This is not my first time comparing the two. Uh, this is my first time comparing the two side by side like this. Right now, my favorite has been Lavazza. I'm trying to see if maybe it's just like my taste buds tricking with me because so many people have said good things about Cafe Bustello that I was like, why don't I like it? It could also be my machine because it was free. And I don't really know if I'm doing it right. Um, and it seems kind of just like a really simple espresso machine. I did foam up some milk because I'm not gonna drink these things black. I mean, I'll taste it so that I can get the full, this smells really good, just like. And because I'm a child, I did get some sweetener. This is my favorite sweetener, the sugar-free Almond Roca from Tarani. I, <laughs> maybe you're already thinking like, well, she's gonna, she can't even drink it black and she's not even gonna drink it just with cream or with milk. So like, she's not an espresso drinker. Maybe that's true. Maybe I really don't like coffee and I just like the basis of coffee as a foundation of other flavors, specifically candy flavors, <laughs> chocolates and creamy things and yeah. So whatever, maybe that's true. I'm not disagreeing with you, but I am trying to figure out which of these I prefer. So I've got yellow over here for Cafe Bustello and I have red over here for the La Paz. I'm gonna try the Cafe Bustello first. I'm gonna try them both straight up. Black. That is black coffee. Yes, it is. That is also black coffee. Do you wanna know what black coffee tastes like to me? It tastes like wet burnt paper. Both of these taste like wet burnt paper. This one's a bit more acidic, I will say. Why do people drink this stuff black? Okay, this one was less enjoyable. Maybe this one's a bit more acidic. I don't know, there's something like, if I'm gonna drink one of these black, I'd rather drink this one. But they're both gross to me. So, now we're gonna figure out how I'm going to evenly measure up this. They might like scoop the foam into each and then try to divide the milk. The foam for you, foam for you. I tried. I tried to get it even. I'm a, I'm a scientist. Actually, I'm a pharmacist by trade. Um, that's a science. Better. In fact, I might not need the sweetener. That one definitely has more milk in it. But I like these. There's no sugar in this. I mean, there's sugar in like the milk. I actually did two ounces of heavy cream and two ounces of the Fairlife ultra filtered whole milk, so there's like, not that much sugar, carbs, whatever. Um, basically, I think what I've just created is um, a cafe misto. I feel bad, this one has more milk in it, and so now I like it. And I don't want my bias to show, you know? But if I put, okay, if I just, actually it's still really, like it's still really good. I really like a cafe au lait, which is usually coffee, not espresso. I am enjoying the Cafe Bustello with the cream very much. This is nice. This is a nice drink. Oh. It's got like a hitch in your face, like this is some coffee. But then it's mild. It's like mellowed out with the cream. And then this one, 
I can't tell if it's because there's more cream in it or if I just like it better. It's almost got like a chocolatey taste to it. I like it. I don't dislike this one, but if I'm gonna pick one that I like more, it's this one. But I keep thinking in my head that, oh, it's because there's more cream in it. Let me make some, just a little bit more, like another ounce of the cream mixture and then add it to here and then we'll see. I blitzed it with the frother just to like fluff it up a bit. And now I'm gonna try and get these two to be of equal volume. So now they're about equal volume, even though I probably took different amount of sips out of each one, so that's not an exact perfect thing. This isn't like a real science experiment. This is just the closest I could recreate in my kitchen. Mm. See, that's more creamy, more milky, but still very like coffee. I'm sorry, you guys, I like the Lavazza better. It's got, it's got those like cocoa notes that like people talk about when they talk about coffee. I haven't added any sweetener or anything to it. I don't know. I really wanted to like the Cafe Pustello because it's cheaper. It's also cheaper than the Lavazza. It's like a couple dollars cheaper at my places. Um, I can find this at like all my local grocery stores. I don't have to go to like a specialty shop or anything. Not that I have to go to a specialty shop for the Lavazza, but it's not as easily attainable. I think I got this at Wall Market, whereas this was at my Kroger or my Albertsons. I think it was Albertsons. And it was the cheapest one on the shelf, which is why I originally got it, because I just wanted something to start using in my espresso machine. I have the Krups Il Primo. I don't even know what model it is. My mother-in-law got it for me and I love it. I appreciate it. It's so fun making like actual espresso drinks instead of just coffee drinks because I have this new experience with espresso. It's like, do I want to get an espresso machine? Do I want to get a different kind of like electric or automatic espresso machine? This one's manual, I guess, because I have to like put the grinds in there and put the thing. I feel like a barista. The only thing I'm not a fan about is like the whole milk steaming situation because I don't want to have to clean that doohickey so I don't dirty it. I haven't used it. I just microwave the milk and froth it. I hope you like this video. I sure enjoyed it. Let me know which espresso brand is your favorite. Do you have, do you have a preferred coffee brand that I have not featured here? Let me know what it is in the comments. Maybe it's in my grocery store and I can buy it and try it because I am, there's like this much grounds left and I feel like I haven't used this very much. It also smells better coming out than this one. I don't know what it is. What's wrong with me? I really wanted to like this one and I enjoyed my drinks that I had in it when this was the only one I had. But once I tried Lavazza, I was like, oh, I like this one better. It does say intensity five out of 10. So maybe this one's a, like a 10 out of 10. And that's my problem because I am a child. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Y'all have a good day. Bye.